Another how-to video here at Swiss Watch Expo. We've got an interesting Cartier Roadster. Now, this is the ladies' piece, but the men's piece is very similar. They all have interchangeable straps and bracelets. Now, they don't necessarily come with both a strap and a bracelet. Some do, but they can always be ordered directly from Cartier. One of the interesting things about the watch and the watch strap these are sort of like a sailcloth, is what they call this, or a canvas material with a leather underlay. Now, some of them are actually more of a rubber style, or even a you can find them in a lizard skin, I believe, and I think an alligator as well. Regardless of any of the types of straps that they have, they are available from Cartier. Now, one thing that you'll have to have, of course, is the buckle that goes with it. This is the folding clasp buckle, but a lot of people get confused about how these things adjust. And if you happen to get them outside of the actual buckle itself, how do they go back on? Because you see they've got these rounded but not full clips here. Well, what you actually have to do is you, I always just, I squeeze them like this. You can't hurt it by doing that, by the way. And you just lift them out. Now, what happens when you go to thread them? If you'll notice, the threading is underneath. So it may seem a little bit complicated at first, but basically what you're doing is you're sliding that strap through, laying it over, pinching, and then just simply inserting each edge underneath the keepers. Now, if you want to adjust the strap, it's infinitely adjustable. So you say, well, I want to adjust the size of my strap. Well, you can do that by simply just pulling one way or the other. And see what happens when you pull them and make them shorter. It works exactly the same way. And now you've adjusted the strap a little bit more. So that helps you hopefully with how the clasp and the sizing adjusts on these strap watches for Cartier. Now, these all have little push tabs. You see that? And what happens when you do the push tab is that the head of the watch receives that strap just like that. You see that? When you pull on it, it's secure. Now, in order to take that out, you simply pull, and my fingernails aren't quite as long, but you pull that tab back towards you and then slide it out. Now, the reverse procedure also works for the bracelet. You're just gonna simply pull that tab back with your fingernail and you're gonna slide that tab out. You see that? Now, when you do that, of course, on both sides, you will see the head of the watch changes and you just simply slide that back in and you can change it out and they're all interchangeable. Now it's a little bit fiddly because I'm trying to do this on camera and not looking at the actual watch itself, but they are interchangeable and they do slide down in there. So 